colleagues, Dino Melai, Kogi West. Today is our validatory section. So all parliamentary conventions and protocols are suspended. Mr. President, my colleagues, I want to say to God be the glory, great things he had done. So love be the world that he gave us his son, who yield that his life and atonement for sin, and open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the heart hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Who oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Mr. President, my respected colleagues, I want to thank God Almighty, who is the supreme controller of the universe, for being alive and sitting here today. You will recall severally, Mr. President, I address you as the irremovable president of the Nigerian Senate. When canker worms and caterpillars arise against thee, when the seat of power took you to EM Code of Conduct Bureau. When the state petitioned you and took you to the court and established a case of forgery against you. Today, Mr. President, you are not just completing your time, but you are going to have an, a glorious exit against the machinations of some demons. I congratulate you, I congratulate you, I congratulate you, and today, to, to my surprise, many of those who orchestrated your removal, who orchestrated your downfall on this floor, called you their mentor, said you have done well, said you have led us well. Mr. President, it is your time to laugh. Mr. President, I give glory to God that when I came into the Senate on the 9th of June 2015, took on me and planned a recall exercise. I was in police custody, Mr. President, when the recall failed woefully. I am here to thank God because in 2017 I was arrested eight times. In 2018 I was arrested 18 times. And out of 365 days in 2018, I spent 124 in police custody. Mr. President, I campaigned only four days to the election. Mr. President, I have every cause to glorify God who is above every other man. Mr. President, last year I was arraigned in 12 different courts. Federal government versus Dino Melaye, we are in 12 courts. But here am I standing, not only standing, returned undisputedly as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I say to God alone, be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Mr. President, I have two historical days I will never forget in the history of the Eighth Senate. One is a day of joy and day of merriment. One is a day of sorrow and a day of pain. The day of joy, the day of merriment was the day. One single Nigerian with multiple competencies. One man who is indoctrinated with the act of civil administration and the rudiment of politics. Intellectually mobile and administratively sagacious. I am talking about the day Abubakar Bukola Saraki became the president of the Nigerian Senate. It was a day of joy. It was a day of happiness. It was a day of progress. And my brother, my elder brother, and the intellectual bank of the Nigerian Senate, Ike Ikoha Igbo, became the deputy president of the Nigerian Senate. 
It was a day of joy. My day of sadness, my day of weeping, was the day my own colleague, Obi Omo Agege, became a mess thief. Was the day dissidents, thugs, desecrated the chamber of the Nigerian Senate. Was the day he led criminals to move the symbol of democracy, to move the symbol of authority out of the sacred chamber of the Senate. And that day, Mr. President, just like the Bible said, Jesus wept. That day, Mr. President, I wept. <laughs> Mr. President, going further, I want to advise us as Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that once you take a hold of office with the Bible on your right hand or the Quran on your right and the Constitution of the Federal Republic on the left, you cease to represent your political party on this platform. You cease to, re to represent your religious organization on this platform. You cease, Mr. President, to represent either a cabal or a group of leaders outside this chamber. We must know that in the night assembly, fortunate or, fortunately or unfortunately, some of us are going to be there, Mr. President. We will continue to speak without fear or favor that Nigeria shall be ahead of any political permutation, any presidential or gubernatorial permutation, any party permutation. Nigeria shall come first before any selfish interest. And we will ensure that, and we will stand by that, and we will continue to speak the truth, not by the rules of this guard. Mr. President, I congratulate my colleagues who are coming back. You have another opportunity to prove that you are truly a Nigerian. Because, Mr. President, no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian. We must prove that we are here on behalf of the people. And we must continue to do only those things that will promote the unity and prosperity of Nigeria. Enough of presidential orders, enough of party directives, any order that is contrary to the progress, the unity and prosperity of Nigeria should not be entertained on the floor of the Senate. Mr. President, I'm going to miss a lot of my colleagues. And I use this opportunity to also pray for the repose of three of our colleagues whom we came into this chamber together, but today they are no more. I pray for the repose of their souls, and I ask that Almighty God will grant them mercy, and they will make eternity. Finally, Mr. President, I want to assure my brothers and sisters that the service to humanity is not only in this chamber. I encourage the likes of Mori Ben Bruce, to continue to do those things, those beautiful ideas should not expire because you are not in the Senate. You should continue to contribute your quota to national development. I make the same call to Goswil Akwabio that as a retired senator who is not going to be with us in the Ninth Assembly, you should also continue or start to do those things that will continue, that will prosper the prosperity of this country. Akwabio, I will miss you in the Ninth Senate, but we will definitely meet on the streets of Abuja. I thank you very much, my colleagues. The battle to salvage this country is not a battle of no retreat, no surrender. We should continue to stand by the truth, not minding who's ours is God. Congratulations. Assalamu alaikum. Senator Akumi. Distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator Goswil of Kwabio. I represent the good people of Ikat Dependent Senatorial District of Akwaibo State. Uh, Mr. President, I would have had a lot to say today, but please don't be worried. The time is not there. I'm not going to say much. But first, let me start by apologizing to my colleagues in the People's Democratic Party. I know that they miss me, and, 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 uh, and uh, I don't know whether I miss them, but they miss me. 
And so I want to apologize to them uh, for the way and manner in which uh, I moved uh, to join Mr. President to stabilize Nigeria. But let me start by thanking them and thanking the entire eight Senate for giving me the opportunity to be the minority leader and to make history as the first um, senator since 1999 to be given the role of a leader in these hallowed chambers. I thank all of you. And I will say, may God bless all of you. Mr. President, having said that, I will say that my stay in the Eighth Senate could be described as sadness and joy. Sadness in the sense that we came 109, but on the, just on the way some of our colleagues died. I recall the day I was supposed to travel to Kano for a function with Senator Wakil, and I was in the Ecumenical Center attending the wedding of the Vice President's uh, uh, child when somebody called me and said, rush down to Senator Wakil's house, he had just slumped. And by the time I got there, he had died. I was so grief-stricken that what, that was the first time in my life I had to enter into the mosque uh, to go and pray. So I would like to use this opportunity to say, like others have said, that may the souls of our three departed colleagues, Senator Abubakar, Senator Wakil, Senator Adeleke, rest in perfect peace. Uh, Mr. President, uh, you and I know that I have forgiven you if you wrong me. And uh, but even when we are departing from here, if there is reparation or if there is still need, you can still see me outside here after. And then for my colleagues in the, in the entirety of the Senate, I want to thank all of you for indulging me and for particularly as, uh, tolerating me. Where I w went wrong, please forgive me. But I must say that I enjoyed my stay here. It's a different thing to be a governor, and it's a different thing to be a senator. I want to uh, say yes in this, Senator Egu said it right, that it is good to test the legislature first before you go and become a governor. But should you also become a governor, it's also good to bring that experience into the legislature. And for my younger brothers, in the Senate, I, don't, I didn't know he's not here. I, I, I recall the words of Frank Fanon, who said, what a beautiful thing, youth is, but what a pity that sometimes it's given unto children. Because if youthfulness were given to adults, I'm sure they would have been able to reorganize and reorder their ways. But I forgive all of them. Let me say, sir, that here, uh, the Senate, the East Senate achieved a lot. Of course, you've said the greatest number of bills ever since 1999. And I also say that this quite turbulent period will remain very focused. Uh, it's, a, it's a great credit that we also took cognizance of the, our Nigerianness. Uh, we made sure that every time the interests of Nigeria came first, we, you were able to pass the not too young uh, bill, we were able to pass the Northeast Development Commission bill, we were able to pass a lot of other life-touching bills that Nigerians today, we have, we have, of course, one of the greatest is still being debated, which is the one that we're able to give financial autonomy uh, to local governments, uh, even though some of them are still arguing whether they, uh, they, they, they would like to have it or not. Uh, but I do know that, on the whole, it will help for that tier of government uh, to be able to achieve a lot. And I think we should still pursue that so that it will be enshrined in the Constitution. The spirit is there. Mr. President, my constituents are very delighted because through this Senate, with the constituency projects, we are able to carry out over 80 projects across uh, my senatorial district. And I tell you that I went even beyond my senatorial district to also touch some other senatorial districts, even outside our Kwaibom State. And I will say to God be the glory. Uh, yeah, Mr. President, today, uh, one of my colleagues said that he will miss me because I'm not coming back to the Senate. I will say, no, that's not correct. I'm actually going to be one of those who will be delayed because I'm in the tribunal. I have not withdrawn my case from the tribunal. I actually won the election. 
but maybe because of uh, mistake in collusion, occasioned by INEC. Uh, and so we had to go to the tribunal. So I assure you that the Ninth Senate, uh, you, you will see me in the Ninth Senate. Definitely you will see my face in the Ninth Senate, and this is for sure. So I will continue to do my best to contribute my quota to Nigeria. When I came here, I came here as a PDP senator, but as I'm departing the A Senate, I'm departing as an APC uh, chieftain and senator of the APC. And uh, I know that I'm not the only one, uh, Senator Lito, don't interrupt me. Uh, even the Senate president came here as an APC senator, and when he's living here today, he'll be living as uh, a PDP senator. I don't know why a lot of uncommon things happen in the Senate. Maybe because I came here. <laughs> so, maybe because I came here. But on the whole, I would say that in spite of all challenges, we're able to remain focused. Mr. President, one of the things we must give glory to God is that many of us are still alive today. We also had a lot of challenges, Some of, sometimes even health challenges in our various families, but God saw us through. I want to thank my constituents in Ecolic Benin Senatorial District, the good people of Akwai Bomset, and all Nigerians who have been praying fervently for us. And I assure you that in all we do, we will continue the things of this country. This is the second time I'm having this kind of experience. First was when I was opportune to attend Federal Government College in Port Harcourt, and I became a general senior prefect, and I met with all Nigerians. And I will encourage people to send their children to Federal Government Colleges, because you will learn to you know, mix with other Nigerians, learn other cultures, interact with them, and it will help you in future. The second is in this Senate, where I came and I met Nigeria. I will say I joined Nigeria, I met Nigeria, interacted with Nigeria, and I want to continue to be a Nigerian. I'm proud to be a Nigerian. May God be with all of us. And of course, the clerk of the Senate and the staff, and particular members of the press, you've done very well, even though sometimes you never showed my face. I don't, I don't know why, but you did, you did very well. I want God to be with all of you. I mean, the President, you indulge some of us too much. I want the nine Senate, because one of us is going to be the Senate President. To learn where you overindulge some senators, let the nine Senate president uh, try to give a level playing field to all. Because the Senate is a leveler. It doesn't matter whether you were an ACA or a PA or whether you were a councillor. Once you come here with your governor, you are all learned colleagues, or what do you call it, distinguished colleagues. Yeah, so the Senate is a leveler. And so the presiding officers who have done very well in the eighth Senate, uh, Ikoha. My, my in-law and uh, Senator Saraki, you people have done very well in the A Senate. In the ninth Senate, I want the next Senate President to also ensure that there is a level playing field. If you give two minutes to me, give two, five, uh, two minutes to Dino. Let Dino not take ten minutes. Then when it is my time, three minutes, you suddenly say it is time up. And so I will raise my hand for a long time and Dino will just walk in and then you will be recognized. So there was certain disparities here and there. And uh, it is good for us to uh, to notice some of these things. So, and uh, finally, let me give a lot of credit to my, my, my backbone. Let me say so. Uh, distinguished Senator James Manager, uh, Distinguished Senator Abaribe, uh, Senator Polka, uh, uh, Senator uh, Dikibo, who is not here, uh, Emmanuel Boacha, my lady, uh, uh, the, that uh, uh, small bone, uh, my, my, my minority leader, uh, Mrs. Lujimi, uh, my junior brother, Senator Aduda, and of course all of you, and I assure you that wherever I am, I will continue to pray for you. Uh, I will continue to, Albert is my brother. I will continue to pray for all of you. But uh, so one of the things that they must also focus on in the Ninth Senate is how to reform the electoral, electoral Act. We must make sure that every vote counts in Nigeria. A situation where uh, the electoral umpires become so terribly biased that, uh, uh, that even when in the face of uh, Carigo, it doesn't matter this political party, they will not take that into cognizance. I think if in future every vote counts in this country, we would have moved democracy forward. But on the whole, congratulations to all of you. I will continue to be a Nigerian, therefore I will continue to see you. Senator Adiola, don't look at me. There's just, I'm not going to talk about you until you said to me. Uh, Binta, uh, darling, yeah, see you. Uh, Senator, uh, Senator uh, 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 Shil Sani, uh, see you on CNN. Thank you, gentlemen. Senator Liru.
Thank you, Mr. 